I let's think, go back I think to the territorial men do... thing for a sec because I want to offer this to everybody on the panel. So, like, what do you mean exactly by territorial men? Like, like them when they claim you, they're trying to orchestrate your life, your schedule, what you do, who you hang out with, like stuff like that. Is that what you mean? One thousand percent. Yeah. Okay. And how does that sit with you, gals? Like when it comes to a guy when he becomes territorial with you? Depends on how they treat me. If they're treating me good, then yes, sir. But if they're not treating me good, then it's like, all right, you're asking for too much, buddy. What's the definition of treating you good? Um, you respect me. You respect my family. You respect my boundaries. You treat me good. And I'm not talking about just spending money on me. I'm talking about like spending time with me, talking to me. If I ask you for something, like if I need advice, I don't expect you to just sit there. I mean, sometimes, yeah, I want you to like coddle me and be like, everything's okay. You're right. Mm -hmm. But you're going to like tell me if I'm wrong, you're going to tell me if I'm right. You're going to tell me if you want to guide me in the right direction or you think I need a little help with something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's just also just slight things where it's like man doing manly things. There's something about it. It's just mm -hmm. nice. What about you, Bruno? What's your take on uh, territorial guys? Do you like it? Do you well, hate it? Um, it really depends. So I've been in a relationship for 11 years. I've been single now for three years. Uh, and my ex, so when I when we started dating, I was super young. I was only 18 years old and he was 19 at that time. Uh, we did not know, so we had to figure out life together. So he came from Brazil before me, uh, like a year before me. After this first year, I came to be with him and we actually lived together for five years. So I would say that we were married for five years. Mm -hmm. Um, he has always, since the beginning of our relationship, uh, he was very jealous and he was always telling me what to do and not to do. If I would look to the side, he would say that I was looking at that person that I wanted to be with that guy, that I was like a whore, but I was, uh, this is a whole situation. Everybody thinks it's like, oh, you chose to be in that relationship. I didn't. I was just so used to being relationship, so toxic like that. That was normal. That was love to me. When he was giving me all that, telling me what to do, for mm -hmm. me, that was normal. Because my mom and my dad, they were very toxic with me. So that relationship that I jumped into like when I was 18 years old, which was my first relationship, for me, that was completely normal. Mm -hmm. It was normal if he would tell me, Bruna, you cannot cut your uh, uh, your your hair. Like he was like, you can't, you cannot have short hair. You cannot, you know, put too much makeup. You cannot wear Are you wear okay with those way. limits though? Like are you okay with him saying I, like I prefer you with long I hair? At that time I was, at okay. that time I was because I did not know. And I was so used to that toxicity, you know, mm -hmm. for me, that was normal. But is that a problem now, for you today? If a guy says I like yeah, your hair a certain length? Oh, 100%. Because this oh, is really? me. And I will definitely, I want to be whatever I want to be. Mm -hmm. And this is not, it can dictate um, if you're going to love me, if I have a long or short hair, you got to love me the way I am. And it doesn't matter how I look. Mm -hmm. You know, it shouldn't matter. So, That's how I feel. Okay, so I'm curious about that. So if a guy expresses a preference for longer, more feminine hair, I mean, you've got long hair right now. Is that yes. your natural hair or is it hair extensions? Or? No, it, right now it's extension because yeah. I change all the time. Like I had okay. long hair like two months ago, short hair. Mm -hmm. So now this is um, extensions. Okay, so let's say we're dating and I see you with the hair extensions and I've got a preference for long hair and I say, Bruno, you know, I prefer you to grow your hair out. You would have a problem with that? Uh, not, not if you say like that. I don't think this is a problem, but I think it would be a problem if you tell me you have to. Okay, you know? okay. So if I were to say, look, if you don't grow your hair out and um, it's long, then I have a problem with that. So we're going to have to break up. Bye. You would do it. Okay. Okay. Is that for any guy or is that for any guy. kind of guy? So any guy. let me put it to you this way. Like typically the, um, the most attractive guys that women pine for, the high value guys are successful. They're tall. They're influential. They have a good network. They make good money. They're funny. They're captivating. You know, they tick all the boxes off, right? Yeah. Would you make an exception for a guy th like that? Um, if you exp would express a preference to you saying, hey, I'd prefer you that you grow your hair out. Otherwise, it's a deal breaker for me. That's a hard question, though. Now you have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard question. 
because uh, um, I've never been in that situation, so no. I don't know. I probably would. I probably, yeah. I, I'm going to be honest. I probably would. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here. That clips from, if you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.